Hi everyone, my name's Amrita. I'm also known as a frugalista and I'm the creator of Pretty Frugal Living. If you haven't already, please head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. I've got lots of great tips for you on how to live pretty without spending a lot of money. Now I'm so excited to be part of this Kin Community cooking series. We're talking about eat cheap recipes, big on flavor, but easy on the pocketbook. I have a great one for you today. This is one of my favorite pork tenderloin recipes. I love it because it looks impressive, it's easy to prepare, it costs really little, and it's such a great addition to your next dinner party. Now pay close attention to this really unique cooking method as well. Let's get started. Go ahead and buy two one pound tenderloins. Now make sure that they are tenderloins and not pork loin. Be sure to cut off any of the extra silver skin because that definitely doesn't taste good once it's roasted. And here's where things get pretty interesting. You need to slice each tenderloin into three thin strips and leave about an inch at the top. I know this may seem a little odd, but you're going to see. This is the impressive part. Just wait for it. Now for the fun part, you're going to make your own dry rub spice mixture. This is where you get to experiment with flavors and come up with your own signature concoction. I like to use a spice grinder for this, but here's a tip. If you don't have a spice grinder, grab one of your salt or pepper mills. It works just as well. I start with coriander seeds. You can find this at the bulk store and I always like to go with the whole seed version instead of ground. Then I follow it up with cumin seeds. Again, stick with the seeds and not the ground. The flavor is going to be so much better. And I always like to make things spicy, so I add in some cayenne pepper, and then I balance that out with just a smidge of sugar. Now you can top it off with some coarse salt and some peppercorns. Now all that's left to do, grind this whole thing up and you've created a delicious dry rub. This is where it's time to get your hands dirty. Sprinkle that dry rub mix over each strand of your pork tenderloin. Rub it in really well. Do not be shy here. The more you add, the better the flavor. Once you're done, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. Now it's time to channel your inner teen and start braiding. That's right braid your tenderloin. Just take each strip and lay it over the other until you have a really cool looking braid. This is a great way to get flavor into your roast instead of just on top of your roast. Once they're braided, put them both into a glass baking dish and let them rest to room temperature. In the meantime, go preheat your oven to 500 degrees. Now here's how you figure out the cook time. You want to take the weight of your roast in pounds and multiply that by five and a half minutes. In this case, we have a two pound roast multiplied by five and a half minutes. That equals 11 minutes. Pop the roast into the oven and let it roast for exactly 11 minutes. Then turn off the heat. Do not peek at this point. Do not open the door and let the roast sit in the oven for at least 45 minutes. You're aiming for about 140 degrees. That's perfect for pork. Pull out your roast, cover it with some foil, and let it stand on the counter and rest for about 10 minutes. And there you have it, braided pork tenderloin. It looks so impressive when it's just served on a platter. You can also slice it up and serve it with your favorite sides. I'm sure your dinner party guests are going to love it. I'll be back in a few weeks with another Eat Cheap recipe. Thanks for watching.